Let me introduce myself. My name is Falco Scrabble. I'm professor for internal medicine and a specialist for endocrinology, nephrology and hypertension. My special interest lies in the origin of hypertension, which was one of the reasons for developing the first task force monitor in my research lab. I would like to show you how the human cardiovascular system is controlled. You can see a scheme of the human heart, cardiovascular centers in the brain and the arteries and veins. All these organs can only function and interact, provided that the receptors which transfer the signals from these organs to the brain are working properly, and provided that the nerve fibers connecting the organs are intact. Pressure receptors are, for example, located in the carotid bifurcation and in the aortic arch. There are also low pressure receptors in the thorax and chemoreceptors. Processing all these signals is extremely complex, comparable to the regulation of a power plant. Up to now it has not been possible to detect all these signals non-invasively, but only by means of catheters placed in an artery or in the heart to measure blood pressure and flow or electrodes placed near nerves for measuring the sympathetic tone. We have managed to measure all these parameters without cannulating the patient. One important requirement for the assessment of the cardiovascular system covered by the Task Force Monitor technology is that all signals are measured beat by beat. Stroke volume and blood pressure are measured simultaneously in real time which allows for the calculation of peripheral resistance, as well as sympathetic and parasympathetic activity. The second requirement is to disturb the cardiovascular system by means of a controlled maneuver, which is, for example, a tilt test. The passive orthostasis causes a fluid shift of about 700 to 1,000 milliliters of blood from the thoracic organs to the legs, which is a challenge for the body to cope with. The tilt test is an ideal method as it's a reproducible procedure in which the patient is in a passive position. With the task force monitor, we have achieved what no one has yet managed, namely to examine all of these organs together with non-invasive measurements. We can examine inotropy of the heart, stroke volume, and we can see the baroreceptors controlling blood pressure and sympathetic outflow. We can also gain insight in the brainstem. Like a neurologist who examines the cortex with his EEG, we can do the same with the brainstem by means of the task force monitor. We measure cardiovagal outflow to the heart. We measure sympathetic tone controlling peripheral resistance vessels. And we also receive information about the function of the veins. All this has not been possible before in a non-invasive way. With the development of this device, we have been well aware of the fact that this examination method is revolutionary to understand cardiovascular regulation like never before.